Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. Um, this is the production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def. This tutorial in th this tutorial is actually a continuation of the previous tutorial. If you haven't watched that tutorial, you, I would recommend that you do so first. And the link of that tutorial should be on the screen at this point. Um, just click on it. Uh, to watch that tutorial first. So uh, in this tutorial, we are actually we are uh, we are learning about allocating memory at runtime. So we are learning. We first saw why it is it is not a good idea to allocate long variables or you know big arrays or big structures like this as local variables because they are created in, on stack and it could result in overflow of stack. And and so as a as a as an alternative, what we what we saw is basically what we could do is you could define you declare a pointer instead of the array itself. You just declare a pointer, and it doesn't have to be array. It could be any structure or whatever. You just declare a pointer, initialize it to null, and then you call malloc. This function malloc is memory allocation function. You know, short for memory allocation. It's malloc. And then you pass the size in bytes, how many bytes you want to store. Now, how would you know how many bytes you want to store? It's very simple. You know, whatever the size of your array is, you can use that multiplied by the size of individual elements. Now, <coughs> here, is a, here is the thing. For example, here it was very simple because each character is one byte. One character is one byte, okay, normally. So, <coughs> trying to allocate a 10,000 character a string you what you have to do is you have to allocate 10000 bytes okay but suppose you have to allocate an array of integers so instead